Collins plays Feed the Beast Monster. Hey yo, Minecraft fans! It's Collins again. We're back in Feed the Beast Monster, trying to get started, trying to get our tech level up. These guys. I got a barrel in here now, so I can just boom, throw all my eggs in there when I jump in. Got some vines floating around. What the heck is this? <laughs> I came over here, came out of here. It, I it slept in my sleeping bag downstairs. Clark in the coming out of the branch my dang, climbed up the ladder, walk over here, it's daytime out. I'm like everything's kosher. I don't look around, I don't see nothing. I'm crafting away, got my nose buried in this thing. Creeper walks from over here, blows all this up. The whole thing was gone. This chest was gone. I had a chest barrel full of gravel and one of cobble, those are gone. Um, I had items spewed everywhere. So I threw chests on the ground and threw stuff in random chests. So these are, like Generic B says, these are danger zone chests now. Um, I re so I upgraded a couple to iron. This little chest is going to be my tools and things that I keep, uh, like I keep axe in here so, so I don't have to carry an axe with me, but it's next to the tree if I need to chop down trees. And then a couple more chests, I upgraded the iron, so that's all the food stuff. And then these are like monster drops and things like that. Um, and I got this we're gonna go over that in a second uh the other thing i found out is these crafting stations are rock so here's a chest let me throw let's throw some of those in there and some of those in there and some of those in there and some of those in there so i got stuff all over that chest this crafting station sees it the one down below sees it and all of these all of these crafting stations all 10 of those will see this chest in fact you can put a crafting station on a level below so you could get, it was that 9 times 3, you get 27 crafting stations around this chest. It only works with the vanilla chests. Doesn't seem to work with the iron chest mod. And we made a thermal expansion strong box, doesn't work with that. Um, but it works with this. And you can make a double vanilla chest. So there's 10 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 10 crafting stations that can see this double chest. And you see I got stuff all throughout the inventory. All the chests see it. Uh, it's weird because they're in different spots depending on which chest you look at, but boom. Um, and you could do three layers of this. So you could have 30 crafting stations. You could access them all, but you could have 30 crafting stations in this chest. Uh, so what I plan to do, again, I'm freaking out my video recording. So I recorded it all, but it didn't come out. So next time, my plan is I'm going to build stuff. Like I built a bunch of stuff. I'll show you guys. Um, and I'm just going to have the recipes in here. And then I'll say, I built this, here's how you do it, here's the recipe, and I'll pull out the crafting results, and then we'll be done. Um, but I built some stuff anyway, and you don't get to see me actually building it, but I'll show you the things we did. So we built the enchantment table, obviously. Two diamonds gone. So basic build craft pipes. Two of whatever you're making uh, around a piece of glass. So in this case, we made gold pipes, two gold piece of glass, Boom. Stone pipes, two stone piece of glass. Cobblestone, the same. Diamond pipe, two diamonds. So I used two diamonds for that, two diamonds for that. I got no diamonds left. And then I made these void transport pipes, which are easier to make now because I think before you had to do cobblestone or something. So now it's just black dye. So I threw an ink sack, a piece of redstone, and glass in there. I got eight of those. And then you combine it with pipe sealant and you get a waterproof pipe. So we're going to use that and the pipe sealant's really simple you take a uh, cactus I got a cactus over there you cook it and you get cactus green you take cactus green stick it in a crafting window you get pipe sealant so that's how you turn build craft pipes into build craft fluid pipes and the reason why we got the void pipe is we're going to use the planter and the harvester and the harvester puts out a fluid called sludge that we're not going to deal with yet so for now we're going to void pipe it and later on we'll set up a sludge boiler and all the stuff that you need for that. We'll do the full MFR thing. Steve's cart can suck it. <laughs> uh, so harvester, you need this Invar axe. So we made Invar. I talked about the thermal expansion before. Uh, two iron and two iron and ferrous metal makes Invar, and then there's another blend that's two iron and I think gold. Or no, it's actually gold and silver. Um, and then regular shears is two iron, and then these machine frames is gold with regular iron and then regular glass. And then 
These are machines that input, so they take a reception coil, which is just gold and a couple of redstone. So um, the planter needs the same thing, the machine frame and that like that, and then it uses copper and pistons and a flower pot. Um, and we need some pipes to hook those up. Uh, the other thing I did is you take your little leadstone energy cell, which we made last episode, you surround it with four invar ingots, and you get hardened energy cell. As you can see, can you see? I drained all the charge out of it. Uh, let's put the hardened energy cell back on the ground. Um, ah. So now it's there. Previously, I had set the back of it to be output. You pick it up, put it on the ground. Actually, I'd set the back of the leaden to be output. I use the leaden to upgrade to the hardened. The hardened keeps all of the settings. It even had a charge in here. I've used the charge now. To, on machines, but it'll hold the charge, it'll hold the settings, it keeps the redstone disabled, and the configuration of those being output, it's all good. Um, so, we're going to do the harvester planner, and um, since I was playing with Invar, you take your crescent hammer, and make an Invar gear with Invar wrapped in iron, get some more Invar, and you got a battle wrench. The Invar Battle Wrench is a tool. You can even a sword. You can even block with it. So it's a weapon, and it's a tool for doing all the 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 um, actually all the machines, most of them. Uh, so we're gonna use that, and we're gonna enchant it. Hopefully, we get them breaking or something like that. But this is the other one I made, Sag Mill. So um, this is Ender IO. Machine chassis is iron and iron bars, so crud ton of iron. Um, this basic capacitor is copper and then gold nuggets, or like nine gold nuggets for a bar. So a little bit of gold, a little bit of copper, and you get this basic capacitor, which you can also take two basic capacitors. Yeah, pulverize coal, and then you get this electrical steel, which you have to actually make in an alloy smelter with all this crud. But we got some electrical steel that we stole from the village over there, so we use some of that. This thing, redstone flux, yeah baby. Um, and we gotta look at recipes. So the pulverizer is a good way to double ore. So you go through, somewhere in the beginning here, is iron. You put iron ore in here, you get two pulverized iron, so you double your ore, and then on top of that, um, cause like the IC2 industrial craft macerator will give you two pulverized, or two macerated iron, whatever. You also have a 10% chance of getting ferrous metal, which is cool because that's what you use to make the invar. So we're doubling plus our metals. Over here, by the way, these machines, most of them, uh, you click on the, the progress bar thing where it says recipes when you mouse over it, and you get all the different recipes. Um, but we got to dig through here a little bit, I think, to find the iron one. Here we go. So iron ore you stick in here. You get your same double your iron. If they just have different names. You get your same 10% chance for ferrous metal. There's also a 5% chance of getting tin, and then there's also a chance you'll get more cobble out of it because we need more cobble. But anyway, boom. Now we got ore doubling plus plus. <laughs> so we got those. Uh, this backpack. Well, let's look at this stuff. So I made this stupid reinforced chest. I don't even like it. Like this chest has the... Um, the quick sort buttons you can push on here. So if I put two things in here and I click this, it will sort them. There's no sort button in these chests. So they are like danger zone extreme chests. Ugh. Um, I made this strong box, which you make it with a little bit of tin, four tin around a chest. It's got a teeny little ingredient thing in there. Apparently you can upgrade it and you can store things securely. If you put stuff in there and wrench it, does it have the contents in it? Oh, that's kind of cool. So I guess that this is thermal expansion. I guess the good thing about that is it's kind of like a portable chest thing. Um, so we got Invar Battle Ranch, we got all that stuff, and then I made this big workbench backpack, which you make this with eight tanned leather in a crafting table. Tanned leather is cooked bound leather. Bound leather is two pieces of leather and all this dang string. Uh, all of these dang string, which you make with three of these cotton balls. 
So three cotton balls is a string, all that string, and all the leather. And I got this little teeny tiny cow farm. And there may or may not be less horses in my world because horses may or may not drop leather. I don't know how that happened, but I happen to have enough leather <laughs> to make this. And um, I got enough string. We're using the watering can. Uh, but this bad boy, you open it up. It's got a little inventory. This is the big version of it. So this is the biggest inventory you can get in this. But it also has a crafting tape window. And this is sticky crafting. These are ghosts of the actual image in there. But you can tell it to make torches. And you close it out. And next time you open it, it's set to make torches. You can tell it to make stone picks and make a whole bunch of stone picks. And it'll do it or whatever. So I got some wood and some cobblestone and some sticks and to craft stuff in here. And some charcoal or some coal. So that's our little crafting backup window. And if we're on the go and we need to craft up like another stone pick because we're using those still, we can craft it up. And then I got this dolly, which is a bunch of iron and a piece of any color, any wooden plank. Um, and you got a little dolly. You know what a dolly is in real life. You put stuff on it and you pick it up and you carry it around. So we right click on the barrel we got it in our hand we can carry it around and if you were carrying a dolly with a giant barrel in it walking around you would probably be pretty slow you'll see I have slowness too and you probably wouldn't be able to do other stuff very well so I have mining fatigue it's kinda like real life but it's not really because I can open up any bag <laughs> and put this in that bag and now I have the dolly with the barrel on it and I don't have mining fatigue so it's easy to be cheaty about it, but realistically, I got this dolly and I can use it to move stuff around. You can move vanilla chests. In fact, if you move a vanilla double chest, it breaks it up, but the contents are still in there. Half and half. Combine them again. Done. You can move iron chests. So, iron chest mod, iron, gold, and diamond. Um, I don't think you can move these things. No, nope. there's some stuff you can't move. I think you can move these strong... You can't move the strong boxes. Nope. But you can move these reinforced chests. Can I move an engine? Nope. But we can pull the engine with our gear or with our wrench thing anyway. So there's that. And then there's this other backpack. <laughs> you take this little boy. You can plant him on the ground. He's now an item placed in the world. A block. Just like a chest. Just like a crafting station. Just like a tree or a bed. He's something you can place in the world. And you put stuff in him, and it's in there. But the coolest part is, you shift and break him. Where the heck did he go? He's not in my inventory. He's not on the ground. But if I press the backpack key from the backpack mod, it's on my back. It's not taking up an armor slot. It's not taking up this extra slot stuff from here. It's just on my back. And the coolest thing about this being on my back is I can access it from anywhere. And I'm going to throw... I had a whole bunch of junk. This stuff. I'm going to throw all this stuff in there. Uh, because... Th this stuff is now all in my backpack. And if I shift right click, that backpack's on the ground, all that stuff's in there. I shift break, it goes back on. The coolest thing about this one, if I die, all of my stuff goes flinging around everywhere and all the little XP balls from the 38 levels I got fling everywhere. That backpack lands on the ground as a block, just like a chest, and will never despawn. And whatever was in that backpack will still be there when I get back, even if the five minutes of my death timer expired. So we got that backpack. That's pretty cool. We're going to keep that around. And we got the uh, the um, planter harvester. We got the hobbyist steam engine. You've seen the recipe for this before. Gold, more gold nuggets, which is just stone and then wood. Pretty easy to make. But the hobbyist steam engine is not as fast at producing MJs than this thermal expansion steam dynamo. And it does make all the noise. But it's much more fuel efficient. Um, the other thing... I gotta have to, I'm gonna have to tr make sure this is recording right because uh, the other thing I found out, and this isn't gonna do anything with one in here, 
but we got no heat this thing will fuel off zombie flesh and we got a zombie spawner down below so we might just zombie fuel something uh, so let me set up some stuff we're gonna move some things around I gotta chop down this giant tree to make room for clean up the creeper mess uh, sort straight out these damn chests everywhere uh, and set up these machines and let me show you what we got all right welcome back everybody so we cleaned this up a little bit I um, since the creeper blew up a big hole I just dropped the whole thing just took another level off the top there I left this over here uh, moved the storage over here and made new barrels got a little crafting station which will see this chest um, I had these lockers these things are I thought they would be cooler. Um, so you can stack them on top of each other. It's like a double chest. You can't access it from the side. You can only access it from the front, which is, I guess it has its advantages and disadvantages. Do I need a freaking axe for this? I have an axe. Does it, does it take a pick? Nope. Better storage locker. Has its upsides, has its downsides. You can't stack them sideways like a normal chest. You can only stack them vertical. At least to get them to stack, you can only do it vertical. Anyway, uh, so we got double chest. This is for all those ores. I found another one too. <laughs> uh, basalt. So there's more of those stupid rocks everywhere. Um, and then a crafting table near this stuff. Um, I set up my enchanting table, my one bookshelf. What level enchants can we do? Can we enchant this thing? We can. Let's put a level. How high of a level can I get on this? Seven off one book? Uh, I don't think level seven is going to do me any good, though, is it? We'll find out. Oh! Unbreaking and knockback and attack on spiders. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> so now we got our enchanted little battle wrench. <laughs> um, clean some of this. Well, I have to clean more of this up. Move this stuff out of the way because we're using some of that for our contraption. This is that uh, um, writing desk for bib. Not this is a bibliocraft bookshelf. This is the writing cra desk for mistcraft. Speaking of which, I made one of these notebooks, which is really easy to make. I think you just need three leather. There you go. Um, and that way we can store pages in there and I think we can just stick the notebook in here and throw pages in there oh my god ten pages why am I going to do ten twilight lake biome pages highlands biome I got nothing good I don't even know if we want to do miscraft like if you do a miscraft mining world it's a little cheaty I don't know maybe uh, world domination with open blocks and stuff those are just going to be stashed in here for now uh, we're just cleaning things up a little bit. Um, this chest can't be seen by these. Um, well, anyway, this chest blocks it. But this one double chest, all four of these crafting stations can see it. Um, and then this is the contraption we set up. So we got our harvester, which is currently void piping all the fluid. And then all the items go down here. And then we got our leadstone energy cells. This is all ghetto low power stuff. Um, there's a diamond pipe underneath here, which then tries to send jungle saplings up, and then it's going to stick all the vines in this stupid barrel, because we're going to get tons of vines from jungle saplings. This is not going to take the last stack out, and it's going to try, it's going to take all the vines in, or the saplings in, and eventually this will just fill up with saplings. The way this is set up now, this planter can plant in a 3x3, three three, and the harvester can harvest in a 3x3, three three, but the planter can of th up this service, the planter can only get these four blocks, which is where our jungle tree is going to sit. And then these other blocks, we can actually put um, other stuff on there as long as we put something that uh, doesn't need to be replanted. Like we could put sugarcane cactus on here. Um, and there's some other. Oh, we can do IC2 crops, which if you remember industrial craft, you just take two sticks and you get crops. Uh, so we can do uh, industrial craft crops, or we can do sugarcane and cactus and stuff, but we can put things on this side, and we can also give this a range upgrade, but we're not going to do that for now. So one diamond pipe to put stuff in there and, uh, and there, and then this is an iron pipe, because what the furnace is going to do, that's what I like about TE, is you can control the inputs and outputs. The furnace is putting out the bottom, and then it's going to wrap around and come back up the top. 
Um, so all the output's going to pass by the input, but that's um, so we can cram everything in here. So the furnace is going to take in wood and turn it into charcoal. Charcoal is going to come from the bottom, go back up. When it hits this pipe, charcoal will try to go into that hot steam engine up there, the dynamo. Um, wood's going to try to fill up the uh, furnace, and then saplings are just going to go into a barrel. Um, if this fills up with more saplings, then it can turn into charcoal, extra or more wood, extra wood's going into that barrel. If this fills up with more charcoal, then it can use extra charcoals going into this barrel. Everything else gets dumped into the last resort chest at the end, which does not have a filter. Uh, so, good old build craft. I think we're done. We're all set up and ready to go. So, the first thing we need is a jungle tree. Um, I can make the planter do it, but... Okay, so that does grow here. Because jungle trees have a weird thing, like... They need a gap on one side, but not, they don't, on two sides, but not the other two. And I think it's these two sides, if I got my thing right. Um, so we got a jungle tree now, and then we just need to get some power in here. And again, we got the steam dynamo with this little water reservoir hidden at the bottom of it. Oh yeah, check you out. It's going so slow though. Hidden at the bottom of this water reservoir is a switch on the bottom of it, which is powering the liquid flue duct. So it'll put water back in there um, and then these are all T3 engine stuff so I just set it redstone control disabled so you're still chopping tree because you're in slow mo mode now eventually what's going to happen is um, there's going to be enough reserve power in the energy cell yeah he's grabbing extra saplings so as long as I stay near here look at all those extra saplings holy cow are they gonna, is it going to get I don't know so many saplings mm -hmm miss yeah so now that we're now that it's chopped down one tree it's getting a, its power is full and the harvester is, or the planters full and the furnace is full of power um, and now the dynamo doesn't have to keep up yet it's gonna now we're getting to the point where we're getting to have a reserve of power um, if this thing chops down more than 64 jungle wood. The extra wood will go into this barrel, so we have some extra wood. It looks like some already did that. Um, and then, it looks like we, did we fill that up yet? Why did you not, did I put some in there already? No, charcoal's going in there first, because that's the way Buildcraft does it. And then it will go in there, but only if this is full. So it should only put charcoal in here until it fills up. No, oh, I got another pipe. My bad. Um, I moved this and I didn't take that pipe out. Okay, now we're good. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I packed it in tighter <laughs> and forgot about the other pipe. So we'll stuff that in there. And we could prime it with a little bone meal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how a harvester's supposed to work. Check out Chompy. That's how a harvester's supposed to work. No range upgrades. Nada. Well how I don't know what we're gonna do with all these damp we're gonna get tons of vines. <laughs> um we'll have a bunch of wood, a bunch of saplings, and a bunch of coal. And uh this thing, and also a bunch of extra power that we can tap into. So I'm going to move some of that stuff. Um, this lava powered heater thing is kind of cool. <laughs> it's slower than dog snot though. So we might, I might leave just the furnace over here and manually bring stuff over here if I need to smelt a, something that I don't have to worry about the time on. Like I can bring a stack of something in here and stick it in there and then if I don't need it right away it's not a big deal. Uh, but otherwise it's really dang slow so it's GD power because you don't have to put any fuel in it but it's slow uh, yeah so there's the there's our power generation we're starting we are automated baby we got uh, invar tools we got some iron we're out of the stone age we've got some enchants let's see what do you do can we enchant you let's put level 7 on you too we can get level 7 out of this. I know it said 7. Uh, 
Uh, it said seven earlier. Whatever. Level six. Power one. You're almost dead. What do we got that's not almost dead? We got our armor. Uh, wasn't it saying seven before? Oh, there was an eight. Dang it, I messed the seven. There's an eight. What's that going to give us? Protection one. Blech. What else are we going to get? So, <laughs> I'm fighting to get high level enchants out of one book. Oh, there was a seven and I missed it. There's an eight. Give me something good off there. Fire protection. Eh, well, probably need blast protection. Can you enchant the rubber boots? Plastic boots. Oh, you sure can. And they got protection also. All right, so we got a little bit of armor. I think these rubber boots, <laughs> these plastic boots are pretty wimpy. Uh, but whatever. It's something. Oh yeah, so we got uh, power production now. And I brought the uh, Sagmel and the Pulverizer over here. Um, the Harvester uses a lot of power. So these are leadstone energy conduits which uh, basically transfer 8 MJ a tick or 80 RF a tick. So I upgraded a cut the one that goes to the um, harvester to the hardened energy conduits and I think those are due 400 RF so it'd be like 40 MJ a tick. Uh, so now the harvester seems to run full speed when it needs to. Um, it can pull enough out of the energy cell. Um, the steam dynamo doesn't put out enough to keep up with it, but the battery is a buffer. The energy cell is a buffer, so we're good. Um, so we're automatically producing a whole bunch of wood and a whole bunch of charcoal. So now we got automated power, and I don't know if I mentioned before, I made a turtle. So diamonds go to the turtle, gotta give him a diamond pick. In the old mod, you used to be able to do, like I built these uh, sapphire or peridot tools. Um, in back when red power was red power, you could use the like the sapphire and the ruby tools for the turtles. But with the uh, project red, these tools don't go on the turtle. You have to g give them diamond tools. So he's got a diamond pick, um, and I don't have a diamond pick. So uh, to mine obsidian, I just carry the turtle, plop him down, tell him to dig. But that's fine because. Um, I used him to grab the obsidian for this enchanting table and while I was there at the lava pool I just grabbed some buckets of lava and fed him lava so he's fueled up with some lava he's good to go and uh, if we need to we got a whole bunch of charcoal now <laughs> and then here's the dang here's that lava powered heater block thing that we did um, I was thinking like the aqueous accumulator the aqueous accumulator, you got to have water on one of the sides. You can't put water below it, you can't put water above it. It has to be on the sides. This open blocks heater thing, doesn't matter. So there is four furnaces here, and there's six sides to this heater. So there's a side behind it and a side below it that don't have furnaces on it because that's where the lava sits. So six sides, two for lava, four for furnaces. So all four of these furnaces our free energy off of the lava powered heater block thingy from open blocks. Um, they're still slower than dogs not, but at least there's four of them now. <laughs> uh, and I need this reinforced chest. And I've been collecting a bunch of stuff, a bunch of wheat, a bunch of sugar cane. What we got here? Oh, in our backpack. A bunch of wheat, a bunch of sugar cane. I've been slaughtering chickens and I made these barricades so earlier we were at the village I used up almost all my eggs earlier we visited the village and those villagers were like let's trade some stuff and if I remember right one of them would take barricades for emeralds one would take wheat for emeralds one would take sugarcane for emeralds and one would take chicken for emeralds so we're gonna stock up on some of that stuff um, and then we're going to visit the villagers, go visit their little village, and uh, get us some emeralds. In fact, maybe we'll do it in style. 
Maybe we'll do some mistcraft stuff just to get interlinking books, and then we'll set up an interlinking book here. We'll take one last boat trip over there, set up an interlinking book there, and then we can just use the books to get back and forth. Um, even when we go, even when we get flight, that'll probably be easier. So maybe we'll do that. The other thing we gotta figure out is how we're gonna do flight. So, um, I looked at the different ways, and one of the things I looked at is industrial craft. So this is how industrial craft works now. Um, we got something over here. We got a machine frame. So here's a machine frame. And to make this, you need iron plates. You need eight of them. And so where the heck do you get iron plates? So one of these mods is showing me that I can take four iron and make an iron plate, which is stupid. Um, because the industrial craft version, show me the industrial craft version, um, takes the forge hammer with a piece of iron. So <laughs> using industrial craft forge hammer, one iron gives you an iron plate. Using whatever that other mod is, four iron gives you an iron plate. So to make this basic machine casing, you take a forge hammer in your crafting window with the iron, you smash it into a plate. Um, and you can do the same with some other stuff like gold uh, and then to make wire you take your smashed plate and you put it with the cutters and it'll get wire so if we need copper wire we take copper and we smash it with the hammer and we get a copper plate and then we take the copper plate and we cut it with the cutters and we get uninsulated copper cable and then depending on what you're going to use that for either add rubber to it or to get regular cable or not but that's how it works in industrial craft in this mod pack um, and I was looking at that for modular power suit so modular power suits so modular power suits um, I need this power armor tinker table and we need an emerald for that so we do need an emerald and an electronic circuit and a basic machine casing which I made but it, there's arrows here in the shape crafting and there's something called JSON which is apparently Greek for thermal expansion so we can use industrial craft recipe or we can use thermal expansion recipe so Instead of doing all that junk, we can do machine frame, transmission coil, and some electrum. Same with the armor. We can use electric circuits, or we can use this wiring. And the electronic circuit, so you saw what we had to do to get copper. you got to make six copper cables, and then get another plate, smash some iron, just to get a basic circuit. And then that has to, there's no other way to make a basic circuit. That's it. You have to do it that way. Um... Or we can make this wiring stuff, which you can also do a smash and gold, or you can do it with copper and silver to get eight of these. It's kind of a wash. I don't know. We'll have to figure out how, what's worth it or not. But apparently, Industrial Craft 2 got extra grindy, and it might have something to do with. I heard a rumor that uh, the infamous Gregorius T is part of the dev team on industrial craft now so that may be one of the reasons why um, it's all grindy and not very intuitive but I think we're gonna do modular power suits so next episode we will uh, go see if we can talk the villagers into giving up some of the emeralds and uh, we'll take some of our tree power and figure out what we're going to do with that and uh, we're ready to go speaking of stone age I did destroy all the stone tools and made a bunch of at least sapphire ones so we got a mix of sapphire tools and a mix of this armor here and our Imvar battle wrench and our little baby enchants and uh, once we get flight we will be properly modded minecraft powered and look at this thing watch it go you rock. Oh yeah, you so beat Steve's carts. That's how you build a tree farm. 
A big giant tree farm. A giant oversized. Nope, you just build a little baby one like this. <laughs> Alright. We will uh, plan some more fun stuff and we'll catch you guys next time.